just in drama in court as Ndume stages a workout after clash with Akbabu, which is the Senate president. There was a mild drama at the Senate on Tuesday as the chief whip Ali Ndume stormed out of the chamber after he was ruled out of order by the Senate president in the person of God's will. Akbabu Ndume had raised a point of order citing order 54 of the Senate rule book to draw the attention of the Senate president Godswil Akbabu to his handling of affairs in the chambers which were against the rules. He said, Mr. President, there are some things we do in this chamber that are against the rules. Sir, nobody is too big to learn. This is Ndume telling Godswil Akbabu, the Senate president. Akbabu had hardly allowed Ndume to end his speech when he ruled him out of order. A visibly enraged Ndume then stormed out of the chamber and went straight to his office. The chief whip was just settling down when he received a call from a colleague to return to the chamber for an executive session. The executive session was still ongoing as of the time of filing this report. We should recall that the Adamawa North Akwabi Abu Bika removed him and is planning to remove Kalu and four others. This is the rumor ongoing before this incident occurred today. Adamawa North alleged that Akwabi was planning to remove Abu and four others from the Senate. I have no hand in your removal. Akwabi is this alleging the statement. Senator Alicia Abu has alleged formally before the incident that the Senate President Goswila Wabiu plotted his removal by the Court of Appeal. Abu made this allegation at his residence in Abuja yesterday as after the Court of Appeal nullified his senatorial election. The Adamawa Senator claimed that Senator Akbabu also has plans to remove former Chief Whip of the Senate, Senator Oju Zokalo, and four others for not backing his Senate presidency bid. Now people are asking, is this like a payback? Abu further described the judgment sacking him as a coup against democracy, but urged his supporters to remain calm on the incident. The senator further insisted that despite the court declaring Amos Yohona of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as the winner of the February election, that he won the election, he, Abu, won the election, and that he defeated the Yohona of PDP with a margin of 11,000 votes. And we should recall that Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal earlier also sacked Abu and the appellate court in a unanimous decision by a three-member panel of justices vacated the tribunal judgment that earlier affirmed and declared Abu of the All Progressive Congress APC as the valid winner of the senatorial seat. And it is held that there, there was a merit in an appeal that was lodged by the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the election. Senator Abu, whose re-election bid was dashed by the appellate court's verdict, entered the news for the wrong reason back then in 2019, after it was alleged that he assaulted a lady in the person of Miss Asimbiriba Wemet in a sex toy shop in Abuja. And then following the incidents with the woman and the assault, a high court of the Federal Capital Territory ordered the lawmakers to pay 50 million naira damages to the lady and that decision was subsequently affirmed by the panel of the appellate court led by Justice Jamilu Toko. Now, Pabio, in replying the allegations and rumors ongoing, ongoing has 
disclaimed and said that he has no hand in the Yurumuva, replying to Abo's allegation. Meanwhile, he has distanced himself from Abo's political travel and being behind his removal from the Red Chamber. He has distanced himself from anything concerning Abu and his political matters. This is Senator Babu saying. And Mr. Eseme Oibo, media aide to the Senate president, said his principal also has no hand in the court's judgment. He is standing in the bid and is, is um, affirming that his principal has no hand in the judgment which sacked Abu from the Senate over um, the all progressive, um, the People's Democratic Party candidate who won him on appeal. And Ayobo said that it is unfortunate if he actually said that Akbabi was responsible for his removal or that he bribed the judges sitting at the court of appeal to rule against him. That's, that's the swang song of a man looking for scapegoats. This is a Ayabu saying. He further stated that the court of appeal across the country decides cases based on the provisions of the Electoral Act and evidence advanced by the petitioners that they look at the constitution and they decide cases and not based on whatever or anyone will say that the Senate president has no reason to which hunt any of his colleagues over his political career or trying to do them a payback because they never supported him when he was going to the Senate, that those things never happened. And so, with all the new news and rumors ongoing, Ndume, Ndume's incident now happened, following the drama in the Senate that, that led to Ndume walking out of the Senate and going to his office, walking out of the Senate president's um, meeting, which is in the person of um, Senator Goswil Babu. This incident has brought about um, so many talks. What is going on in the Senate? Is the Senate peaceful? This tenth assembly, are we sure that um, it won't be filled with so many dramas? Drop your comments on the comment box. It won't be filled with so many dramas. 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 It won't be filled with so many dramas.